What is up guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. And we have a special guest. Say hi to Kit Kat. You, you done destroying my chair, Kit Kat? You see all this hair floating around? That's yours. I hope you know that. Yeah? <laughs> what are you doing? Can I have my chair back? Okay, let me film. <clears throat> This is why I can't have nice things, because you and these kids. But as you guys can already tell, it is finally time for another book box battle. And we got a lot of boxes to battle, y'all. As usual, I am very behind on boxes. I honestly don't remember what month all of these are from, but I think they're all from the same month. Like I've had them here, I think, what? I think these might all be July boxes. Again, I'm not sure. They've been sitting here for a hot minute, y'all. But the really exciting thing about this book box battle is not only is this going to be an ultimate book box battle video because we have five boxes vying for the win, but we also have a new box and an old box coming back at least for this video. I am currently only subscribed to Owlcrate and Fairy Loot. As you guys already know, I did end up canceling my Illumicrate subscription. So this will be my very last box from them. But as you can tell, I have a box from Lidger Crate. Lidger Crate was one of the OG boxes in the battle ring. I used to battle it against Owlcrate a long time ago. I did end up canceling my subscription, but I did go ahead and get one box from them just to see how they're doing, if they've improved. But like I said, I also have a brand new box. Again, this is just a one-time purchase. Now, this is another YA subscription box, just like all of these are. But this box is actually from Australia. So needless to say, the shipping cost was not very nice. Um, <laughs> it did cost a lot of money. Just like Illumicrate, that's the reason I canceled Illumicrate, just the shipping cost makes these boxes like twice as much as Owlcrate and Literocrate and Fairy Loot. But I did wanna go ahead and check them out. But for those who are new, all five of these boxes, like I said, are YA book box subscriptions. And this is the video I do where I battle them out to see which box, in my opinion, did the best this month. As always, there really are no losers here. This really is just for fun, but we got a lot of boxes to open. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Oh, what am I feeling? What am I feeling? Let's go ahead and start off with Owlcrate. Okay, sneak peek. And as always, we have the spoiler card on top with a really cool art print. And the theme of this box is Go Your Own Way. And this was the June box. So yeah, they've been sitting here for a hot minute. You guys, I swear, I'll get my life together one day and get back on track with these boxes. I mean, I really shouldn't make any promises at this point. My track record, is not doing well. Hopefully all of these are the June boxes. I think they are, but we'll see. So right on top, we have an Owlcrate box that says reading through the seasons to celebrate the unique beauty found in each of the four seasons. We've created a special limited collection of drinkware designed by artist mm, Masarina Chomik. Our salute to summertime and its carefree days is this beautiful water bottle featuring a quote from Benjamin Alaz something, something. So yeah, this was for summertime and it's almost fall. <laughs> wow, this is so pretty. I love the flower design and it says summer was a book of hope. Love that. And it has Owlcrate on the bottom. Very cool. This honestly is a great bottle for me to take to work because it would keep my drink nice and cold. I definitely foresee me using this quite a bit. A great start to the box. Mm. And next, I do believe we have a lunchbox. Ah, ah, there is a note. Terracin Lunchbox Owlcrate Exclusive. So this is based off Throne of Glass, which as most of you guys know, is one of my favorite series. If you have not read it, I cannot recommend it enough. That's this book right here. Wow, 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 wow. Ooh, and it's like Velcro. And it's a pretty big lunchbox. 
But you guys, look at the design of this. Definitely screams a throne of glass. We have the stag, the crown, her sword. Wow. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I am a fan. Again, another perfect item for me to take to work. Okay, owl crates. And next, it looks like we have a blue pouch. Plastic is so not needed though. Let's see. So this is a fable wayfinder coin designed with love by iron and ink design so it is an actual coin and on this side it says smooth sailing fort of saros and coppers and on the other side it says rough seas trade council of the narrows okay so this coin is based off the fable duology not gonna lie guys, I still have not read it. And I have the first book, so there's no excuse. I just have not gotten to it. So yeah, not really a usable item, but I do love the design of this. I'll probably end up putting it somewhere on my bookshelf here. So yeah. And the next item is our monthly enamel pin. For those who don't know, Owlcrate includes an enamel pin in every single box and the design will be based off the book in the box. So this is the design this month. It says you can be more than what the stars wish for. Ooh, very pretty design. It's kind of giving me remember all vibes. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but I love this, love the design, and I love that quote. I can't wait to see how it plays out in the book. So yes. And next we have a black pouch in plastic. This is actually pretty heavy. It is a really big key. <laughs> okay, hold on, there's something else in there too. I think it's what it is, okay. So this is, Oh, it is an enamel bottle opener. Okay, now that is cool. I was like, what am I gonna do with this big ass key? <laughs> enamel bottle opener inspired by the Starless Sea. <gasps> I see the bee. If you guys have not read that, that is a very good book. It's not the easiest read, but I think that has some of the most like eloquent writing just, I loved the style of writing. Use the teeth of the key to open the bottles of your favorite beverage, store it on your fridge with these sturdy magnets. Oh, it does have magnets. That is even better. It even has a quote on here that says, no story ever truly ends as long as it is told. Wow, 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 wow. Just what my fridge needed, a big key bottle opener. My husband legit is going to love this. Legit. I think he'll probably end up using this more than me, but I love this. Y'all, Alcrate lately has been killing it. I actually did a live massive unboxing with just my Patreons where I was catching up on book boxes because again, as usual, I was behind. And I have to say, the last few boxes from Alcrate have been some of my favorite boxes. Alcrate is stepping up. They, they step it up to the plate. And then we have a gorgeous art print with some gold foiling on here. Oh, my inner Niffler is so happy right now. That is gorgeous. As usual, I have no idea what this is based off of. Let me look at the spoiler card. Da, 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 da. Strange the Dreamer, oh, of course. Duh. Yes, again, Strange the Dreamer is another book I have not read. I'm such a fake bookworm. Every time I do battles, I'm like, I've never read that. I've never read that. What have I read? <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> but as I've said in the past, I don't really keep a lot of the art prints that these boxes include. A lot of you guys did recommend that I get a photo album. That way I can just put all of my art prints in there. So maybe that's what I'll end up doing or maybe this will end up in my giveaway box to go to one of you guys, but it is a very gorgeous art print. Wow. But we are finally to the book. Let me take it out of the plastic. I disagree strongly with plastic. We know this, nobody cares. And as always, it did come with a letter from the author, which I still love. Like I've been getting Alcrate for three years now, I think. God, has it been three years? Almost. And I still love that they include letters from the authors. Most of these boxes do. So yes, 
But the book this month is Sisters of the Snake by Serena and Sasha Nanu. A lost princess, a desperate switch, a destiny that will shake the world. Ooh. But as always, it is signed by the author. Let's see what it looks like without. Ooh, we have reversible dust jacket art. Oh, now this is pretty. We have some snakes on the cover that's gold foiled and gold on the side and the reversible dust jacket art. You guys know I love, 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 love reversible dust jackets. That is cool, okay. But since we have five boxes to get through, I'm not gonna read the description of the book. I will put it up on the screen so you can pause the video and read it if you want. But I will say this sounds really good. It's about a princess thief who switched places. So yeah, it does sound really good. If you guys have already read this, because again, this box is from June, I'm behind. So if you've already read this, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this book. No spoilers, but I would love to hear what y'all thought. But guys, that was everything in the June Owl Crate box. Let's take a quick, quick look at the spoiler card. So it just has the interview with the author as always. And for those who are new, we always get an exclusive cover with Owl Crate. So this is the exclusive cover and this is the regular cover. So it kind of looks like they just changed the background color. Then we have a bookish puzzle, Throne of Glass, some book recommendations, interview with a vendor, which is Janine Lacour. She's the one who designed our Throne of Glass lunch bag. Love that. And as always, we get a Spotify playlist. Yes, Owl Crate. Okay, so now it's time to pick a box to battle Owl Crate. I think we're gonna do a newcomer. Or should we go with Litter Crate? Because those were my original boxes that I battled. Uh, yeah, let's do Litter Crate. Let's do it. Okay. Lit Joy Crate coming back for a battle. Okay, Lit Joy Crate, it's been a while, but let's see how you doing. Okay, sneak peek. And the theme of this box is wishes and curses. I do believe this is a June box as well. Right on top, it looks like we have a zipper pouch. Let's take it out of the plastic. Oh, and this is a Caravel uh, zipper pouch. It says, admit one to be used once to gain entrance into Caravel. Main gates close at midnight. And it has a little clasp, so you can hook this on your purse or backpack. So this is the inside. Ooh, and this is the design of the back. It looks like you can put like your driver's license or something in there. Not my favorite item, to be honest. I do like the design of this, but I honestly probably won't end up using it. So this might end up in my giveaway box. And next, it looks like we got an ice tray. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is an ice tray. And this is Cinderella themed. We have Cinderella in her carriage and even the glass slipper. Okay, so I know a lot of people collect Disney stuff. I am not one of those people. I just, I, I don't. But my daughter, Bella, is obsessed obsessed with Disney princesses right now. So I cannot wait to see her face because she will love this. Absolutely love this. And next it looks like we have a notepad. Let me take it out. Okay, now I love this. Not only is it a notepad, which as I always say, you can never have enough of, but it is based off The Princess Bride, which was one of my favorite movies growing up. And it even says on here, as you wish list, as you wish. <gasps> the day my husband starts telling me, as you wish, <sighs> my life will be complete. I know he's watched that movie because I have forced him to watch it. And he still, to this day, has never said, as you wish. Is it that much to ask for? Just tell me you love me. Just say the three words, but instead of I love you, as you wish. But it also has a magnet on the back so I can just plop this on my refrigerator and take notes of what we need or this or that. Hands down my favorite item so far. This will definitely, definitely be getting a lot of use in my house. You killed my father, prepare to die. And next it looks like we have a little wood box with a bird on there that says I remember you. Huh. 
Oh, so it's like a little jewelry box maybe? So it's not a very big jewelry box, but you can throw a couple pieces in there. And it has little magnets on here, so it kind of just closes. I like the design of this, but I have no idea what this is referring to. I remember you. Let me check the spoiler card because I, I want to know what this is based off of. Let me try and not look at everything else. Oh, the invisible life of Addie LaRue wooden box. This beautiful bamboo trinket box designed with forget me not flowers encircling a bird in the center and the quote I remember you was inspired by the wooden bird carried by Addie as a reminder of her beloved father and the family that has forgotten her. So if you have not read The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, it is a book I 1000% recommend. The writing is phenomenal. I could not put that book down and I totally get the reference now. To be honest though, this really isn't something that I foresee me actually using. I have a lot of trinket dishes that I've gotten from subscription boxes. I have a jewelry box and I really don't have that much jewelry. I'm just not the biggest jewelry person. So sadly, I don't foresee me using this at all. So it'll probably end up in my giveaway box to go to one of you, but I do like the design and reference of this for sure. And next we have a little box that says Lit Joy Crate. Hold on, I think this item goes along with this item. So let me open this one. Yes, 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 yes. Look at this. Okay, so if you are new to Lit Joy Crate, they have recently been including a teacup and saucer in their subscription boxes based off different books. And they are the most gorgeous teacups I have ever seen. I have no idea where I'm gonna put this, but I love it. I love it. I really wanna go on their shop and buy some of their past ones. Again, where I'm gonna put it, I don't know but I want them. Like how amazing is this? I'm not a thousand percent sure what this is based off of. Oh, this is based off the Devabad series, The City of Brass. I think I've read that. The Devabad. I, I don't even know at this point anymore, but even if I haven't, I love this. Love, love, love. Wow. And next it looks like we have a sticker that says fear and bravery are often one in the same. And it has like a dagger on there. That sounds really familiar. Oh, this is a quote from Blood and Ash. I have finally, finally read that series. And you guys, it is up there with like Throne of Glass, Akatar, Nevernight, some of my favorite series. It's up there. This was such a good series. Yes, 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 love that. And we have a photo strip, which Lit Your Crate is doing in every single one of their boxes. And speaking of Akatar, I'm pretty sure this is based off that. Hold on, don't let me lie to you. Da -da -da -da. Ah, yes, Cassian and Nesta photo strip. I actually shipped them hardcore. That was such a good book. This was the latest book in the series. Such a good book, so yeah. But we are finally to the book in this Lit Joy Crate pouch. <gasps> Ooh, and we got sprayed edges. You guys know I'm a sucker for some sprayed edges. Ooh, this is pretty. And we do have a letter from the author with an art print on the back. Very cool. Ooh. So this is the book, The Shadow in the Glass by JJA Harwood, Dare to Make a Wish. But y'all, look at this cover. Very pretty. And again, we have sprayed edges, kind of a dark teal color. And as always, it is signed by the author. And we have an in-page art print. Love that. Ooh, okay, let's see what it looks like without. And we have a really pretty in-page design and reversible dust jackets. So this is what it looks like without, just black with gold on the spine. But let's look at the reversible dust jacket. Ooh, this is totally giving me Cinderella vibes. But again, I'm not gonna read the description, but I will put a picture of it on the screen so you can read it if you want. Now this sounds amazing. Definitely a book I really do gravitate toward. I legit cannot wait to read this. 
wow but guys that was everything from litter crate as always you'll have to let me know what was your favorite item least favorite hands down the book and the teacup set were my favorite items with the princess bride notepad coming in a close second overall i thought this was a pretty good box from litter crate but was it enough to be out crate in this first round i will say if this was only based on the books included in the box litter crate would definitely win but overall oh okay so not gonna lie i've been sitting here for about five minutes trying to decide on a winner <sighs> this is only the first battle and i can't decide uh... okay i have to pick a winner i have to sadly to move on so the winner for the first round of this ultimate book box battle is drum roll please Lit Joy Crate. That is right, guys. Lit Joy Crate is the winner of this first battle. Out of the two books, this one definitely spoke to me the most. And again, it has frayed edges that always gets a few extra points in my book. But that, along with the teacup set, kind of just threw this box on top. But as I always say, there really are no losers here. Owl Crate was absolutely amazing. Okay, so Litter Crate won round one and moves on to battle again. So let's see how it holds up against the brand new box the fable crate Ooh, okay so sneak peek i have to say i'm a fan of the box may you touch dragonflies and stars swim with mermaids and talk to the moon <laughs> and y'all this box is heavy okay so right on top we have the spoiler card the theme for this box was a touch of chaos and it has a little note in here that says sorry Unfortunately, our cute little extra autumn leaves haven't made it on time. As the manufacturer can give us no information or ETA on these, we've decided to ship out all the important stuff. When these arrive, they will be included in a little envelope in the July crate. Happy unboxing. Oh, so this was like a one-time purchase and I have not gotten anything else. Again, this was the June box, so it's been a while. I might reach out to the company and see if like it's gonna be sent to me because it hasn't at this point. But we have some tissue paper with this sticker. Okay, sneak peek. Da -da -da -da. And right on top, we have an umbrella. I'm not a very superstitious person, but I just like don't love tempting fate. But let's open this and take a look because I want to know the design. <laughs> so if something happens to me, just know it was all for you guys. Ooh. Ho, ho, ho. Ooh. Okay, so this is what we see. It looks like we have a moon with a bunch of like witchy themed items. Definitely speaks to my inner witch. We have some spell books, book of shadows. Ooh, that's a, a charmed reference. And potions snake venom teacup and then some tarot cards some sage i love this such a pretty design okay not gonna lie i did struggle quite a bit trying to get this closed i'm pretty sure that'll be in the bloopers and next it looks like we got some tea this is elaine's raspberry tea and it does have directions on here it doesn't have ingredients, but maybe the spoiler card will. As you guys know, I am not a tea drinker, so this will definitely end up in my giveaway box. Oh, as will this, because I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Elaine's Tea Essentials. I'm pretty sure this is like a tea strainer. So yeah, it's a tea strainer, a shell tea strainer, very cute. And it also came with the little plate that you can put it on. And it also came with traditional shortbread biscuits. I don't think I've ever had those. Best before December 2021. So yeah, sadly, this will also end up in my giveaway box. Very cute though. And next we have an item wrapped in tissue paper with the sticker that says light up the stars. Oh, it's a coaster with a really cute design. It has some cats, birds, stars, moon. Again, sadly, we're just not a big coaster family. I have said this in the past several times. We just really don't use coasters, which I mean, you should, but we don't. So even though this is really cute, I honestly don't foresee me using it that often or at all. So I think this might also end up in my giveaway box. And next, it looks like we have some washi tape. 
based on Sabrina, I think, because we have a picture of Salem and it says, I will not be ignored, but it looks like it's just a cat design. We have different cats and some paw prints on there. Very cute design. And you can never really have too much washi tape. I mean, I've kind of started like a washi tape collection. So this will definitely be added to the collection. And next, it looks like we have four little art prints, but they're all based on the four different seasons. So we have the one for autumn, and this is the design on the back. And then we have summer and the design on the back. And this is the one for winter, hands down my favorite one, because this is Manon from Throne of Glass, 1000% recognize her. But this is the back of the card. Last but not least, we have spring, and this is the back of the card. Very cool. Again, I'm not sure who these other ones are. So I know that was Manon. Let me look at the spoiler card real fast. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 Oh, so Spring, which was this one. This is Lou from, oh my God. Lou from S Serpent and Dove. Wow. And then Summer is supposed to be Alina. Alina. Is that the Grisha trilogy? Is her name Alina? I think this might be from the Grisha trilogy. I might be wrong though. Not sure. And then Autumn, this is supposed to be Melisadra. Melisadra. I'm blanking on this one. If you guys know, let me know in the comments down below. I actually really like these, especially this one. Again, I love Manon. She is like who I want to be when I grow up but maybe just like a tad bit nicer, but I need her backbone. Like <laughs> I need her strength and courage. Um, so yeah, love that. And next, I think we have a notepad. This is like a faux leather kind of notepad. And it says, it begins with absence and desire. It begins with blood and fear. It begins with a discovery of witches. And it even has a little witchy charm on here. How do you open this? Oh, okay. And it came with a pen. So it has a lot of blank pages, but it also has like these little protective covers for like business cards or pictures or something. And a little zipper pouch in the back, which I will totally put the pen in if it'll fit. Yeah, that'll fit. Now I love this. Hands down my favorite item from this box so far. Totally giving me charm vibes and I Love that. And next, it looks like we got some lip balm that says Raz Candles Lip Balm for TFC Belladonna Kisses. Ooh, okay. You guys know I love me some chapstick. Let's give it a try. Smells good. Feels good. Mmm, not the best taste. <laughs> You guys might think I'm weird for tasting chapstick, but come on guys, you always end up with a little bit in your mouth. So not gonna lie, not the best tasting, but it does feel good, so, so yeah. And next we have a bookmark that says the Fable Crate. I love these type of bookmarks. These and the magnetic bookmarks are for real my favorite type of bookmarks to use. So yeah, this is so cute. I definitely foresee me using this in the future. And next it looks like we have an enamel pin that says read the right act, the Fable Crate exclusive pen. So this is a little potion bottle with the label that says dream. Very cute design. This one might actually go with my Harry Potter enamel pins because I honestly don't have a lot of potion enamel pins. So yeah, needless to say, I am a fan. And we also have a letter from the author, which again, like I said earlier, I really do love. So yes. But we are finally to the book, which is The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. Very pretty design. Let's see if it's signed. Okay, so we got a signed book plate. Let's see what it looks like without. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, oh my God, I didn't even notice it had sprayed edges. Oh, and it's like pink shimmery sprayed edges. How did I miss that? That is so pretty. So yeah, this is what it looks like but it also has a reversible dust jacket. So this is what it looks like. And it says, be weary of those who will let you apologize for who you are. 
The Nature of Witches. That is so pretty. Wow, okay. Oh, this also sounds like a really good book. Very witchy and magical, obviously, which again speaks to my Harry Potter heart. But guys, that was everything from the Fable Crate. As always, you will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Um, hands down for me, obviously, the tea and tea strainer are my least favorite items. Hands down, my favorite items have to be the umbrella and this faux leather notebook. I definitely foresee me using them quite a bit. But overall, I thought this was a really good box, especially as this is a brand new company. They're just starting out. I think this might have been like their first ever box or maybe their second. So I'm very interested to see how they improve over time. One thing I will say, and this kind of bugs me with like all subscription boxes, if you're gonna do a letter from the author, please, 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 please make sure it fits in your book because a lot of us like to keep the letter from the author in the book for safekeeping and I use it as a bookmark. So I hate it when the letter from the author is bigger than the book because then I can't keep it in the book. It's too big, it won't fit, it'll get bent and everything. I mean, I don't know, I might be the only one who does that and who gets a little bit annoyed when the letter author is bigger than the book. Again, not saying these companies would actually watch my video, but it would be nice if they did and actually made that change so we could always keep these together. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> again, I thought this was a really good box, but was it enough to be literary crates? Hmm. But now it is time to decide which box won round two. Was it Litter Crate or was it the new box, the Fable Crate? Drum roll, please. Litter Crate. That is right guys, Ledger Crate is still the winner and we'll be moving on to round three. Even though the Fable Crate was a really good box, I definitely can't wait to read this book. Okay, so now it is time to move on to round three where we will battle Ledger Crate against Illumicrate. Sadly, my last ever box from Illumicrate. But have you guys heard they are doing a romance book box now? I'm definitely gonna have to try that box out sometime in the future. Okay, so this is what we see. Spoiler card on top, Illumicrate out of the woods, June, 2021. Okay, so right on top, we have this with a sticker that says Holly Black. So maybe this is like a Cruel Prince item. Okay, so it's like a hanging art print. This is like actual canvas material, guys. Wow, but on the back it has a sticker that says, based on the darkest part of the forest by Holly Black. I have not read that, but I will say this is a really cool painting art print design. I mean, look at the detail of this. Wow. Now, even though I do love the design of this, whoever did this talent, but sadly, it's just not something that I would display on my walls. Like I said in the past, I really only display Harry Potter stuff and Lord of the Rings. So this will probably end up in my giveaway box, but still such a cool design. And next we have a white box. Oh, and it's a water bottle, a glass water bottle with like a bamboo top. And this is so pretty. And it says, the woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. Robert Frost. I have no idea what that is from, but I love the design of this. Again, you can never have too many water bottles. I love this. And next we have a wood bookmark that says the wood makes monsters of us all by Ashley, Ashley Poston, Poston maybe? A very pretty design. I love the crown on top. I'm not quite sure of the reference, hold on. This beautiful wooden bookmark is inspired by Among the Beast and Briars, which is another book I do have, but have not read yet. <laughs> like half of these books I haven't read, guys, I mean. Am I alone? You guys know I love bookmarks. I collect bookmarks, we all know this. So needless to say, I am a fan, very pretty. And next we have a white package. 
Oh, it is our monthly enamel pin. For those who are new here, Illumicrate also does monthly enamel pins based off the book in the box. So this is the design this month. We have kind of like a tree on there. And I'm not sure if this is like words or something. Again, the best part about the enamel pins is you might not understand them now, but after you read the book, you'll be like, oh, that totally makes sense. So I can't wait to see how this correlates to the book. And we have another white package. Oh, it's another pin, but this is a wooden pin based off We Hunt the Flame. So it's like a wooden crossbow that says the Huntress. Not gonna lie, not my favorite design. This will probably end up in my giveaway box. Oh my gosh, the last item in the box is a Lord of the Rings puzzle. Like I absolutely love Lord of the Rings. Check out my Lord of the Rings shelf here, but I'm honestly not the biggest fan of puzzles. So I'm not going to lie. I'm a little split on this item because it's based off Lord of the Rings, which I love. But I mean, honestly, I'm probably never going to put this puzzle together. So I feel like it should go in my giveaway box, but it's Lord of the Rings. But it looks like this is the design of the puzzle. I mean, it is a very pretty puzzle. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm split. This might end up in my giveaway box. Who knows? I might keep it. But we are finally to the book in the Illumicrate pouch. Ooh, with sprayed edges. Ooh, red sprayed edges. You guys, you see this right here? This is what happens to the letter from the author when it's bigger than the book. Why? Like, I don't understand why it's so hard to make it fit in the book. Because look, now it's all bent and stuff. Oh, that's so annoying. Please tell me I'm not the only one. Like, why? Why do y'all do that? It seems like such a simple concept. Make it fit in the book. Okay, sorry. Tangent over. But yeah, we have a letter from the author with a really cool art print on the back. Even though it's completely damaged now. <sighs> but this is the book this month, The Wolf and the Woodsman by Ava Reed. But you guys, look at the sprayed edges. These are stenciled sprayed edges. I have like a little collection here of all my stenciled sprayed edges. So this book will for sure be going right here. That is so, so pretty. But as always, it is signed by the author. Let's see what it looks like without. <gasps> Ooh, we got a reversible dust jacket. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Will you tell me a story, wolf girl? Ooh, with silver foiling, silver on the spine. And this is the reversible dust jacket. Oh, that is so pretty. I think this might be my favorite reversible dust jacket so far out of all of the books we've gotten. This is stunning. The detail. Whoa. But again, I will put a picture of the description on the screen so you can read it if you want. Oh, okay. Now this sounds amazing. I think it's a little um, enemies to lover trope, maybe, with a little bit of mystery and magic thrown in. I think this book might have beat the one from Ledger Crate. This is just speaking to my soul. But guys, that was everything from the box. As always, you'll have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Least favorite for me was probably the wooden enamel pen. Favorite after the book would probably be the water bottle. But overall, I thought this was a pretty good box from Illumicrate. But the question is, did it beat Litger Crate? The book definitely did, but did it overall? Hmm. Okay, so the winner for round three between Litger Crate and Illumicrate is, drum roll please, Litger Crate. That is right, guys. Ledger Crate is still the winner and will go on to the final battle against Fairy Loot. Even though, like I said, I thought this was a really good box from Illumicrate. If it would have just been based on the book, this box definitely would have won. But overall, some of the items just were not my favorite. So we are to the final battle in this ultimate book box battle. And it is between Ledger Crate and fairy loot. Now, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know fairy loot is my favorite box. Every time somebody asks me which box do I recommend the most, 
I always say fairy loot. Okay, so sneak peek. And as always, we have the spoiler card on top with a really cool art print. This was their June box. The theme is animal companions. And right on top, it looks like we got a pillowcase. This says Raven Sleep Cycle Pillowcases designed by KDP Letters. Pillowcases? Are there two? Oh my God. There are two of them. I don't think a subscription box has ever, ever given two pillowcases in one box. And they're two different designs. So it's not the same design. Okay, so this is the first one. It says the heart is all fire. And this one says the head is too wise. Okay, so I will say I have not read The Raven Cycle. So the quotes don't really make a lot of sense to me. But I will say... I actually really like these. For one, these are so soft. For two, they are actually full size pillowcases. I don't know how many pillowcases have ended up in my giveaway box because they are just for like the decorative throw pillows. And there's only so many of those you can have on your couch. So I love that these are actually usable. And I actually really do like the design of these and the colors they chose. So yeah, I'm a fan. And yeah, I'm too lazy to fold them. So so they're just, they're going there. <laughs> oh, we have another box and this is really exciting. Crescent City Ceramic Pot. Again, Crescent City is another book that I 1000% recommend. Love, loved that book. Cannot wait for the next one. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that gold foiling on there. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, to be honest with you guys, I will not be using this as a ceramic pot. The only ability I have when it comes to plants is to kill them. I, I am a murderer of plants. So I will definitely end up using this for something else. What, I do not know, but I think this is gonna have to go somewhere on this bookshelf because this is stunning. Too bad it has a hole in the bottom because I would totally have used this as a coffee cup. Sad day. <laughs> and next we have a little package with the Fairy Loot logo. Oh my gosh, you guys. My little sister is going to steal this faster than I can edit this video. It is an enamel pen from Kiki's Delivery Service, which is one of my sister's favorite, favorite movies. This is so freaking cute. I don't even want to get attached to it because I know, I know she is going to be like, give it to me. It was her birthday recently and we didn't get to have a party because she had COVID, but she's better now. It's all, she's good. Um, so I guess I'll give this to her just cause I love you, Amber. But yeah, she is going to flip. And next we have our monthly tarot cards. For those who are new, Fairy Loot includes tarot cards in every single box. So we have the Knight of Wands and the Page of Wands. As always, these are absolutely gorgeous and I have no idea what they are from. Inspired by Serpent and Dove. Really? I actually was thinking of a book. It was not Serpent and Dove. These aren't giving me Serpent and Dove vibes, but gorgeous, gorgeous as always. And next we have another package with the Fairy Loot logo with some flames this time. It is a metal bookmark and I can already tell this is inspired from, um, oh, that big ass book that is so intimidating. I've never read it. The Priory of, oh, the Priory of the Orange Tree. Wow, okay. That's kind of like the same design from the cover of the book. Very cool design. And it came with a tassel. And next we have another package that says Kingdom of the Wicked Acrylic Standy. Now I will say I finally read Kingdom of the Wicked. I think I read it last month, finally. And this was actually the book that I was thinking of for the tarot card, because I mean, look at his eyes, right? But I will say the book started out really strong, but by the end of the book, I was kind of like, what? 
what? It wasn't my favorite ending. I mean, it did kind of leave you on like a little bit of a cliffhanger. So I'm very interested in the second book and where the story goes, but this is what it looks like. The God of Wrath. I mean, dang. <laughs> book boyfriend, yes. I mean, we all love us a good bad guy. So needless to say, I love the design of this. This will fit in perfectly with my other little character standees up here. So yeah, I, I'm a fan. <laughs> but we are finally to the book in the fairy loop pouch. Again, with sprayed edges. Oh no. Okay, so normally the book does come with a letter from the author, but I think they accidentally gave me another copy of the spoiler card instead of the letter from the author. Oh, I will definitely email them or message them and see if I could get the copy of the letter from the author, but it did come with the bookmark with the same design as the spoiler card. But the book this month is Fire with Fire by Destiny Soraya. Two sisters divided, they burn. Very pretty cover. Oh, and it looks like we have dragons in this book. But again, we have sprayed edges, very bright yellow sprayed edges. I don't think I have any yellow. I have a gold sprayed edge, no yellow. So this is a first, but on the back it says, I didn't choose you and you didn't choose me, but we have each other now, always. I love a good always but it should be signed by the author. And it is signed by the author. Let's see what it looks like without. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We have some silver foiling of like a dragon on the front and silver on the spine. But we also have a reversible dust jacket. Very pretty, but I will say the one from Illumicrate is still my favorite. But again, I will put a picture of the description on the screen. Okay, so this one does sound good. It has a little bit of mystery, a little bit of magic. It's not speaking to me as some of the other books have, but it does still sound really good. If you've read this, let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. But guys, that was everything from Fairy Loot. As always, you guys will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. Item-wise, I actually really liked everything in this box. I don't really think I had a least favorite. Favorite item, hands down, has to be the ceramic pot. This is just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. But I will say out of all five books that I've gotten, this one is probably my least favorite. It's just not singing to me like the other ones did. So, so yeah. But the question is, did Fairy Loot beat Lit Dirt Crate? Ooh. Mmm. Now this is a tough one, guys. I did love all of the items we got from Fairy Loot. I mean, we got two full-size pillowcases, the ceramic mug, the bookmark, the enamel pin. Oh, oh. This is hard. This is hard, guys. Okay, after a lot of thought and deliberation in my mind, I have to say the winner, the ultimate winner of this ultimate book box battle is, drum roll please, Lit Joy Crate. That is right, guys. Lit Joy Crate is the ultimate winner for this book box battle. This has definitely given me some throwback love for Lit Joy Crate. It's been a long time since I've unboxed their book box on my channel. And I have to say, I am a fan. I thought this was such a good box. The book and the teacup set kind of just kept Lit Joy Crate on top for me. And I can just see my daughter's face when we get to put ice in this Cinderella tray. She is going to go insane for that. Honestly, I think if I would have liked the book more from Fairy Loot, they might have won because I really do love all of the items we got from Fairy Loot. But just overall, I definitely think that Lit Joy Crate is the winner for this battle. But as always, you guys will have to let me know do you agree with my decision? Or do you think another box should have won? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And don't forget, you can now join me on Patreon for some exclusive content and giveaways. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. Yeah, 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 yeah.
But you need a bath. Look at this hair. Ugh. Now I'm gonna have your hair floating around the rest of the video. After I'm done filming, you're getting a bath. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, young lady. Oh, you're so dirty. Hey, stop destroying my chair. You know, normally you're just over there knocking the camera. You just need love, don't you? You just need love. Yeah, I'm getting a bath and I'm brushing your hair. God, it's been too long. Aw, Kit Kat. Aw, oh, man. Stop destroying my chair. Hey, I'm sorry, there's cat hair everywhere. <laughs> oh, shit, tucked in mushrooms. Not the mandrake. Not my mandrake. Wow. Wayfinder corn? C corn? Corn. Have a promotional, 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 promotional. <laughs> we get a Spotify, Spotify. Blah, blah, blah. I do believe this is a June. I do believe that your driver's license or something in there, or like your vaccination card, because apparently it's everybody's business. Ooh, I shouldn't say that. Like that's gonna start drama. Okay, never mind. Oh, Hold on. Again, plastic. My name is my name is Nantino. Oh my God! How have I forgotten that? I have got to watch The Princess Bride. My name is Nantino Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. So this item is one reason I really wanted to get a Litger Crate box. That is so interesting. Wow. Let's put you over there so I don't break you. Speaking of, stop, Kit Kat. And sad, sad, sad. Oh, so good. Y'all, my hair is slowly growing back. So now I just have little random pieces of hair. Oh. Close. Ooh, this is hard to close. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, shit, no. Okay, umbrella. You will not defeat me. Why won't you close? What? God, I need the force of a ninja. Okay, it should not be. That was a close call. The umbrella almost won, y'all. <laughs> Woo, okay. Mm, eh. And it, oh, with the key. I almost said arrow, but crossbow. So it's, eh. The theme is annual, an annual. Ugh. Gorgeous, gorgeous, darling. So I love when subscription boxes do items based on these like throwback favorite classics. Yes, 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 yes. Can't even get attached. Died. 